right? J O E. Yeah. Or Joe, 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 Joseph. Either okay. One. <laughs> so, which role do you play here at Marvel? I portray the role of Green Goblin. Ooh. <laughs> so, how has that been to kind of you know get into character? What's your story? How do you prep? Um, it's definitely fun being bad sometimes. Uh, but I just kind of made the character into me. Um, try to do some research on how the Goblin, you know, kind of created. He's an iconic, you know, villain being in the Marvel world. But I kind of took that and kind of interpreted it in my own way. So it's been fun so far. I, I got a lot of good feedback from the crowd, a lot of good feedback from friends. So, so far it's been great. <laughs> What's your uh, background like? What kind of training experience do you um, need I'm, to I'm be I'm a from Orlando, villain? Florida. So I'm uh, all the theme parks, uh, Disney, Universal, SeaWorld. I come from an acrobatic um, background, also an athletic sports football background so um also doing like uh, specific skills is stilts uh power skipping that uh, have to do with flips on on bouncy stilts basically so it's kind of those different elements i use to you know become a part of this show so what's been the most challenging up until this point because you sound like you're just well versed in so many things so what was the one thing that you said wow i um, really have to work at this the pace thing. of the show the pace of the show is very energetic very high you know energy so kind of keeping up with the show knowing that there's different elements there's pyro there's uh, technical projections, there's motorcycles, there's so many elements that are part of the show, kind of just keeping pace with the, how the flow goes. So that's kind of my most challenging part, but everything else kind of felt pretty natural. Um, the fight choreography was pretty natural coming from ac acrobatic, you have to have a certain type of rhythm that kind of fit like a glove with, you know, stunts and, and fighting, so it was good. Good fit. Is this your first kind of theatrical show? Have you, you done a tour This is my to first this big um, stunt tour. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been in theatrics uh, all my life. I started as a young uh, boy at a theater here called People's Theater in Orlando, Florida. Um, so I, I did most uh, stage plays out in Atlanta. I did a, a play called You Don't Know Me by Tyler Perry to, uh, Studios and I out there for a couple of months and then I came back. Mm -hmm. um, I also work here for the Orlando Magic. So we our energy always has to be up. I'm, I'm part of the flight crew here. Um, so we, we entertain the guests everywhere. So that's kind of my theatrical background that I come from. That kind of helped me with this. <laughs> now it takes, it takes a very long time both to get everything, because around over a year, mm -hmm. to get everything set up and you have three months for practice. Mm -hmm. is, it, is there any points in between where you're, you know, like what is the process behind three months of just rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing? Um, taking care of your body is one most important. Uh, you want to keep good fluids, good, uh, vegetables, fruits, things that can help you sustain throughout the tour. Um, the three month or four month process of, of the rehearsal period was definitely challenging just to keep, you know, waking up early every morning to, to finish the job, but it was worth it. Um, so just sustaining, kind of keeping your body healthy, knowing what to do, uh, keeping yourself outside of trouble, outside of work so that you can, you know, perform well. and. That's how I do it. <laughs> so how has it been performing here? Because you're from Orlando. Yes. And then you're performing at the Amway. I'm sure you have kids that you grew up with or went to school here that you performed with. Mm -hmm. So how has that been? Uh, it's such an honor to be back home, um, to, to show my fellow family and friends, you know, what I'm capable of and what I've been um, surprised to do so far. Um, it's been a thrill. I can't wait to show them tonight. Tonight's our opening night. Um, so I just can't wait for the support. <laughs> What's... Uh... Do you have a favorite stunt or a favorite moment in the show? Uh, I would say my triumphant moment that I have during the show is throwing Spider-Man off about 30 feet from the crown, the Statue of Liberty, you would say. Uh, that's kind of my big hoorah, mm -hmm. you know, kind of <laughs> telling Spider-Man I'm better than you. Uh, but that's kind of a thrill. And flying on the glider. I mean, come on. It's an iconic glider that Goblin uh, has from the beginning of Marvel. Mm -hmm. So um, that is a very, also challenging, but very thrilling and very fun. That's part of my favorite. Now, is there any other roles that you hope to do in the future, maybe with the Marvel Universe Live when it continues, or are you um, going to try to stay with the Green Goblin as long as you can, depending on what they say? Well, a lot of people didn't know. I was a part of the research and development for the Hulk, so that's that's how I was introduced to the uh, company. I was the first one to tie, uh, kind of help and research develop the process and mechanics of the Hulk. So coming from power skips, you know, our, our suit and electronics are also built off of power skips. So that was my first window into the to the Marvel world. But um, I kind of dibble and dabble in everything within the show. So I would love to maybe try Electro, some other things that we may throw, you know, come in the, that's something I haven't tried before. So that's, that might be my next step. <laughs> and Marvel being so popular, of course, with kids, maybe you have nephews or, mm -hmm. you know, you just like, so how has that been when you tell kids like, that's me, I'm that character. <laughs> it's it's you know? funny, it's mostly just 
everybody, everybody who like has a fan of Marvel just wanted to have a good time, they definitely enjoy it. It's, Marvel's been around so long. It's such a great brand, such an exciting brand. Um, most of the time I get from adults, you know, they turn into little kids, <laughs> you know, seeing their superheroes that they've known for years. Uh, they kind of makes them go back to their childhood. So that's, it's been an honor to do that and to, to express that type of, you know, experience for everybody. So that's kind of, that's kind of the way I wanted to portray myself doing this show. So you're, you're on the, to, on tour going around the country. You're doing three shows a day. Yes. What is your daily routine like? What, what's your regimen like to be able to maintain this kind of pace? Um, I would, first thing I do, wake up in the morning, get a good breakfast so I can start my day off with a high energy to kind of keep my, my day going. Um, warm up, that's, that's a big key that we have to do here is warm up, uh, get our, our regiments in, meaning our, our flow of the show, kind of in our mind to kind of keep ourselves going, to keep the, the show very sustainable, keep it continued, uh, to have the same quality it has every show for each city, no matter what state we are. So that's kind of my daily routine, kind of waking up, get a good breakfast, stretch, um, keep some good fluids in me so that I can not cause any injuries or anything of that sort. So that's, that's kind of my daily plan. I'm waiting for a pose. <laughs> and and do you have a, a favorite Marvel character other than the one that you play? Oh, I would say I have two. My ultimate favorite is Iron Man. Uh, his his suit and mechanics are so you know electrifying. Like Iron Man is a billionaire type character, and it's just to see all the electronics come within his suit is is amazing. And my second would I would say is Hulk. He's a, a huge monster, a huge you know being. So he's probably one, probably one of my most favorite ones. Him and uh, Iron Man. And quickly for kids who you know could be watching this now, or parents who have kids that have shown interest, or they don't know where to put their energy. Like mm -hmm. uh, maybe some advice from you, who's obviously been able to take your talents and you know excel. Um, I would say go for it. Uh, always try to strive for the, the high risk because you never know what might happen in the future. Um, definitely try to uh, perfect your craft, whatever that you're doing, if it's stunts, acrobatics, acting, whatever that you're doing, I would say perfect your craft. Really study your craft so that you can embody it and it'll be one natural thing that you can do to excel your career or whatever you want to do in life. Okay, and we need you to stay in Orlando. So, <laughs> so keep performing here, we'll book you for all the events. <laughs> Thank awesome. you.